Iconic Silver Ford Raptor here at Aikens and Wild with us, a repeat customer. Done some accessories for in the past. Today we completed his Indoraptor package. I'm ready. I hope you are. If you are, roll that footage. So here at Aikens and Wild with us, a winder, we're getting a 50 50 mix now of lot vehicle builds and customer builds. This one here is a customer build. He came in. I guess maybe you know, he's been a loyal customer of ours. We've done several things to all, a lot of his vehicles, but especially this one. We did a, a ready lift level kit up front, two and a half inches initially, and did, then we did a uh, Roush performance pack. Let's show you guys how that looks. And just a few weeks ago, we did the Roush performance pack level one, additional 57 horsepower, bumps you up to 507, uh, a lot more throttle response, breathability is better, just an overall, uh, better kit to help your engine perform better and less restrictions from the factory Love that from Roush And then today we went we went big boy substantial riding on 37 So we already had the level kit up front all we did in the back was do a ready lift block swap went from that Factory block to a four inch block in the rear. So he has a nice leveled stance Here's a good look at the stance of it. And of course you see we did, not, we did not do any paint matching on this one. And on the Ingot Silver especially, I'm cool with it because I think it works nicely, especially with a good wheel and tire combo. So basically leveled on 37s, Ford Indoraptor package. We got 37 inch Nitto Trail Grappler, mud terrain tires. Y'all have heard us talk about the mud terrain tires so much. It's such a good tire, looks great. Uh, drivability is very nice on road and off road. We see good mileage out of this tire. It's in the top three as far as uh, smoothness, as far as the mud tire. You got KM3 by BFG, the Toyo Open Country MT, and then the Trail Grappler. Really comes down to personal preference, which one you pick for that. But we also did the Tough Skins carbon fiber inlay on the Ford logo, front and rear. It's a subtle detail but once you notice it, uh, it really pops. Got some carbon fiber on the inside also to tie it all together. But Ingot Silver, leveled on 37s. Fuel Assault is our wheel choice. It's a very popular wheel, 20 by nine. And we're zero offset. So our mild to wild scale, we're pretty flush with the fender wells. May stick out an inch or so, which is important uh, when it comes to the offset, especially on a Raptor. If you're gonna do any kind of off-roading on a Raptor, if you go negative on your offset, you're gonna have some potential uh, scrubbing issues, especially at high speeds and with a 37. So it's important to incorporate, use this as a resource for what's the best offset to go for on your wheel and tire combo. Now, going 37s is going to restrict some of your off-road capabilities uh, to an extent, but it's a balance. It's, if you're an everyday driver, you may like the substantial size better uh, then and sacrifice a little bit of that off-road capability. Your Fox shocks are not messed with at all, so you still have great comfort on the road as well as off-road. Here's a good look at that ready lift level kit. But the main thing is, is hit us up for all your Raptor needs. Our Raptor business is growing from the sales side and accessory side. You know we got you covered. Why was it Akins?